In this video, we will learn how to divide polynomials by a binomial, and our focus is using the long division method and the synthetic division method. So first thing when we're dividing, the very first step is we want to make sure that um, our polynomial that's in the inside here, that it is in standard form. So what that means is we have to take the degree, the highest exponent is the 2, and then we have to have it in descending order. So 2, and then 1, and then the one without a variable at the end, the constant at the end. Okay, so then what we do next, there's a little trick that you'll see once we do many of these. That is, if this is a 2, then this one will always be 1 less, so it's just going to be x to the first power. And then when we distribute this, when we multiply this x here, just like with normal division, so let's recap and make sure we understand what I mean by normal division here. When we're dividing without the variables, 5 goes into 6 once, and then what we do is we multiply these, and we put the answer when we multiply them here, and then we subtract. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do x times x, which is x squared, so that goes there. And then we're going to do x times negative 5, which is negative 5x. Okay, then the next thing we did here after is we subtracted. So we need to subtract here, but you need to be very careful. So I'm going to write here what's going on. We're doing x squared minus x squared, which that makes 0. So I get to cross that out. And then here, this is 2x minus negative 5x. So what happens there is that makes a plus. So we would get 2x plus 5x is 7x. Okay, then the next thing we do over here is once we subtract, we bring down the next number. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to bring down this negative 35. Okay, then the next thing we do over here is we ask ourselves, 5 times what gets us 12, about 12? So 2. So we multiply the 5 times the 2 and we get 10. And then we keep repeating this process of multiplying, subtracting, and then bringing down, and so on. So we are going to do the same thing over here. And since if I put a positive 7 here, if I distribute it, x times 7, so I'm going to write it down here, x times 7 is 7x. And then negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. So what you're doing here is just like what we're doing here, 5 times 2 gets us close to 12. That's what we're doing here, that positive 7 times x gets us 7x, so it, go, so it goes there. Then what we do next is we subtract, and again I'll write that on the side, we're doing 7x take away 7x, which is 0, so I cross that out. We have negative 35 minus, so this minus right here, a negative 35. And what happens here, that makes a 0. So what our answer is, our answer is x plus 7, and the remainder, this represents the remainder, the remainder is 0. So let's go ahead and now try it using what we call synthetic division. Okay, so let's redo the same problem and now let's use synthetic division method. So for synthetic division, we need to take the denominator and set it equal to zero and solve for x. And that number that we get for x here is the number that goes on the outside of our division here. And then the numbers that go inside here are the coefficients. So the coefficient of the x squared is 1, the coefficient of the x is 2, and the, co and the constant term here is negative 35. So that's what goes inside here. 
then we always start with zero here. We're going to add zero to the first coefficient. And one plus zero is one. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply these. So one times five is five. And then we're going to go ahead and add these. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply these. And then we're going to go ahead and combine these, add these, and we get zero. Okay, so now we take this, and since that's an x squared, that tells us that this is going to be one less. So instead of x squared, it's going to be x. And then this is our coefficient here, so 1x. And then if we decrease 1, we would have the constant. So this would tell us that it's supposed to be plus 7. And then this, the very last number here, that is in, uh, represents our remainder. So this is our remainder, and we have a remainder of 0. Now if we go back to the previous problem, so we got x plus 7, if we go back here, Using the long division way, you could see we also got x plus 7. Now let's see what this is. So if we want to check this, if we think about when we divide this and this, okay, our answer when we're multiplying here should multiply to get us this number when we add on our remainder. So let's check and see. If we take x plus 7, which was the answer, and we multiply by our denominator here, our x minus 5, we should get this inside here. So let's see if we get that. Okay, so if we check this, let's go ahead and multiply. We have x times x is x squared. And then we have 7 times x is 7x. And then we have negative 5 times x is negative 5x. And negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. Then we're going to combine the like terms. So if we look here, this, what we just got by checking, is exactly what we had here. So again, this times this should get us what's inside here, if we did it correctly. Okay, so let's try another one here. So the first thing is we want to make sure that the polynomial is in standard form from lowest degree to, or from highest to lowest degree. So we're going to start with long division. So this goes out here. And then this goes inside here, but it needs to be from highest to lowest. So x cubed first, and then there is no x squared, so we put 0x squared, and there is no x to the first power, so we put 0x, and then we have the 10. So that's what we need to put in the inside. Okay, so the trick here is if this is cubed, then this is always going to be squared. And we don't need a number here. It's just going to be x squared because when we multiply these, we multiply x squared times x, it should get us this right here, the x cubed. And then we're going to multiply it to the the x squared, now we're going to multiply it to the 2. So that's going to be positive 2x squared. And then we're going to go ahead and subtract. These are going to cancel. Now be very careful here. This is 0 minus 2. So I'm going to write that out for us. 0 minus 2. That's negative 2x squared. Then I'm going to bring down the 0x. And then we're going to, okay, now we have to figure out how many times x goes into negative 2x squared. So in other words, we should be thinking x times what would equal this. So hopefully you're thinking x times negative 2 would get us this. 
And then if we had an x here, then we would get the x squared. So now that we've figured out what goes here, we're going to multiply this to both of these. So again, we have x, this x here, times this, which would get us negative 2x squared, which that's what we want. We want these to be the same, so they cancel. And then we're going to have to multiply this negative 2x to the 2. So negative 2x times 2 is negative 4x. Okay, so now we're going to subtract here. And again, these cancel here. And now be very careful with this right here. So I'm going to write it out. We have 0 here, and then we have minus, and then we have negative 4x. So what happens here is this is going to make a plus, so we would have 4x here. And then we're going to bring down the next, the last number is 10. Okay, so now we have to ask ourselves, we're going to take this x, and we have to ask ourselves, x times what would get us this? So hopefully you're thinking positive 4. So if this was 4, x times 4 would make 4x, and that's what we want. We want these to be the same. Okay, so now we're going to multiply this to both of these. So x times 4 is the 4x here. And then we have 4 times the 2. So again, we're taking this 4 and multiplying it to this 2. And we get 8, and so we're going to put 8 here. Now we're going to go ahead and subtract. So these are going to cancel. And then here we have to be careful. This is 10, so positive 10. And then we have minus, so minus 8, which is 2. So that makes our answer. So our answer is x squared minus 2x plus 4, so this. And then here's how we write the remainder. We're going to take the remainder. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this problem using synthetic division. So first thing with using synthetic division is we take the denominator, we set it equal to 0, and solve. And that tells us the number that we're going to have here on the outside. And then what goes in the inside here is the coefficients of our numerator here. So in front of the x cubed, since that's the highest exponent, and the, x, or the coefficient in front is a 1. We're going to put a 1. And then there is no x squared. So this one is x cubed, and there was an x cubed. But there is no x cubed, so we're going to put a 0. And there is no x, so we're going to put a 0. And then there is this 10 here. So we're going to put a 10 there. Okay, next, we're going to always start with adding 0. So we're going to put a 0 here, and we're going to add. And then here we're going to multiply. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And then we're going to add. So 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. And then we're going to multiply these and get 4. And then we're going to add. And then we're going to multiply here. And then we're going to add, and we get 2. So now let's go ahead and talk about how to write our answer. Okay, so we're going to use these in that this is the coefficients for our final answer. So what we're going to do is, since this was an x cubed, then I know that this is going to be x squared, this is going to be x, and this one's going to be just the, co the constant plus 4. The last spot here always represents our remainder. So our answer is x squared minus 2x plus 4 and since this is positive we're going to put plus 2 over the x plus 2.